you've probably heard a lot in this election campaign, people talking about the potential Americanization of our health system, people talking about the idea that imagine what it would be like if you were at home in crippling stomach pain and having to consider whether you would be able to go to hospital because of that bill. Being pregnant and worrying that you were going to end up with thousands of pounds of debt as a result of, your, of giving birth to your child. Well, knowing that if you ever ended up in intensive care, you would potentially end up with your whole family being destitute as a result of a bill. Shame! Shame! This is not just the spectre of what might happen if Trump gets involved in our NHS. This is the reality now for many people in this country. So, just to talk a little bit about how that's come about. Um, since 2015, um, there's been increasing legislation um, putting up barriers for people who are not ordinarily resident in this country. So, there's been charging in the NHS for some time, but since 2015, um, if you want to access secondary care, so inpatient hospital care or um, community services, then uh, if you do not have ordinarily resident status, you are billed before you can even receive that care. and the Home Office. So even though there's been some successful campaigning um, against some of that data sharing, it is still the case that if you have a debt of over £500 to the NHS, your details will be shared with the Home Office and you're at risk of deportation. So these are not just scary policies, these are causing real harm um, in the NHS right now. So many of you will have heard about um, some of the cases of uh, people from the Windrush generation, uh, or more recently Simba, who's a campaigner in Yorkshire who's been affected by these charges. Um, I've been involved in some research recently looking at um, the impact on child health, um, and we did a survey of lots of uh, child health professionals around the UK who told us of some absolutely harrowing cases that they are seeing in their practice. So um, we were hearing about women who have not attended any antenatal care for fear of being deported um, and then coming to hospital to deliver their baby often with really tragic consequences for their own health and their baby's health that could have been prevented by accessing antenatal care. We've heard about families who, while their child was in intensive care, a manager from the hospital came in and presented them with a bill and they thought that that would mean they had to take their child out of intensive care. Yay! Yay! And even in this quite small survey of health professionals, we heard of four different cases of children who had delays to treatment for cancer because the hospital was looking into their immigration status. Yay! So uh, these policies are doing real harm right now. Um, but there are lots of things uh, that we can do to counter them. And I do, I genuinely believe that this is a fight that we can win, whoever gets into power on the 12th of December. So, um, first of all, just quickly, uh, it probably comes as no surprise that the Tory manifesto is saying that they want to escalate these policies and tighten these borders. Um, the Labour manifesto um, is uh, promising to make uh, access to healthcare better, although there's a lacking in detail about the exact details of that, and we will still have to fight to get true free access to the NHS for all. Um, and the Lib Dems are completely silent on this issue in their manifesto. against these policies and I genuinely believe we can win this. Um, so we've got, a, there's a fantastic website made by Docs Not Cops and some other groups which is called Patients Not Passports. Um, just Google Patients Not Passports. If you yourself are subject to these charges or you're supporting people who are, there's lots of tools of how you can advocate um, to get better access to healthcare. If you're a healthcare worker, um, there's lots of information about how you can campaign in your own hospital, in your own local area. Um, and, who, and whatever your role, if you're a patient, again, there's lots of campaigning things that you can do. So please have a look at Patients Not Passports. Um, there is a growing momentum in sort of, uh, academic medical bodies, the Royal College is against these charges. Um, and I just genuinely believe that we can overturn these policies. Woo! So, yeah!